to my channel. My name is Sheila and I create videos mostly around working, a lot of work with me vlogs, um, planning, goal setting, productivity, and conscious conversations on topics that are on my heart. So happy to have you here with me and welcome. So today is Sunday. I actually was not planning to film at all today or really this week <laughs> coming up, but I was doing my weekly planning, which um, I do a lot in the, I do like kind of a weekly review. I review my week that I just had and then kind of plan and set goals and habits for the month ahead. So I wanted to kind of, and then I got the idea to kind of film this week as like a week, week in my life centered around um, working on my goals and working on the habits to help me reach my goals and to also help me stay accountable. Um, so that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be taking you through my week and checking in daily on how my goals are going, how my goals are going, and then I can check in at the end of the week and kind of see how well I did, um, if I need to improve next week, and you know, all of that fun stuff. Let me swip, swap you, <laughs> swap the camera and show you my goals and habits. So my process, again, I start out with a weekly review, um, which is in my personal journal. And then I always ask, I ask myself a few questions. How do I want to feel this week? Um, so here I put relaxed, at peace, content, and present. We're coming after, this is the, we're going into the week that's after the election. Um, so last week was pretty stressful and a lot of anxiety and uncertainty. Um, but yay, I feel a lot better now. One thing I want to know when I'm thinking about my goals is I need to figure, I want to figure out how much time I have during my week. So if I have a really busy week, I'm not going to want to give myself like really intense goals. Um, so the first thing that I do is kind of put my appointments and all that stuff in my calendar. Um, and then that gives me an idea of how much white space I have or free time to kind of work towards my goals. So after I did that, I kind of plotted in the days on when I have my day job, what needs to get done for my um, photography business, if I have any appointments or calls, and really just get a gauge for like the tone of the week and what I'm really going to be doing um, when I'm not at work. Um, so that allowed me to kind of brainstorm things that I want to work on. One of the questions that I asked myself last week was what can I improve on? So last week I didn't really get a lot of reading done. Um, I did finish um, No Exit, um, but I finished that pretty early in the week and then I didn't really do any much reading after that. Um, I didn't really, I haven't done any reading this weekend. I just haven't been in the mood probably because of stress and anxiety with the election. Um, so I really want to get back into reading. So one of my goals is um, to finish reading A Rogues, A Rogues of, One, oh, of One's Own by E.B. Dunmore. Um, I read her first book. I can't think of the name right now, but it was really good. And I think it'll be a nice break from all of the like thrillers that I've been reading in October. My second goal, which is also a habit, is going to be reading on my lunch break at least three times. So at my day job, um, I've been cultivating the habit of not scrolling on my phone and all of that, um, just kind of unplugging on my lunch break, and I've been reading instead, so I want to keep up with that. And I've also mapped out how many pages the, I'm reading the ebook, how many pages the ebook is, and then I divided that by seven to get an idea of how many pages I need to be reading every week. Um, so 381 divided by seven is like 55 pages. Um, another thing that I did was to figure out how much time I would have um, each day to devote to reading. So prob so I ended up putting um, read 30 minutes um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I could probably read at least 15 minutes on my lunch break and then maybe 15 minutes before going to bed. I can probably do a lot more than that. So that's really good that yes, I have the time to devote to reading goals this week. My next goal is to edit and upload one YouTube video. So I have a backlog of videos that I've shot, like a lot of vlogs, and I haven't edited them. So one of my goals is to devote time to getting at least one video uploaded for you all. Um, so my action steps for that would be devoting time um, after my after work, and I do work from home on one day this week, and then Friday is when I work on my business, so I know I'll have some time on Tuesday and Friday to devote larger chunks to editing, um, and if I can find pockets of time 
Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I could probably squeeze in maybe an hour of editing on those days too. And my next goal is a fitness goal. So let's just be <laughs> transparent that my um, fitness <laughs> has not been very good this year <laughs> since March um, because of pandemic and just I've been, I used to, you know, work out five times a week and all of that and just be really active and it hasn't, it's just, I haven't been motivated. Um, so I keep giving myself goals around fitness each week and just never, I just never hold myself accountable. And I think also I don't really have a, a why for that. So that might be something I need to work through. I know that working out helps with my mental health and makes me feel stronger and just more happy and confident, but whenever I <laughs> come home, I just don't feel like working out. So that's something I think I'm also um, working on as I'm adjusting to a new routine and a new job and all of that. Um, there's just been a lot, a lot of life changes for myself the past few months. Um, so I like to continue putting weekly fitness goals, which are very simple, such as moving my body 15 minutes, and that could be doing yoga, um, just doing an easy like dance video on YouTube or maybe doing an actual like fit, like toning or strengthening video. Or I give myself options because I really need to have a lot of flexibility with fitness. Or I can hit 8,000 steps, um, which I can hit a lot of those steps at my day job because I'm on my feet a lot. As I was saying, I can hit 8,000 steps um, pretty easily if I get a good chunk of them at work and then maybe go out on a walk. Um, so that's kind of the other reason I wanted to film this week is because I know filming myself and talking about this and sharing it will help me hold myself accountable because I don't hold myself accountable when it comes for taking walks and just going outside. So I want to film myself this week to help me kind of break through all of those blocks that I have. And one final goal is just to go on a walk or hike at an area park. The weather has been crazy nice um, for November where I am and I just, there's so many like parks and hiking and trails around me where I've moved and I haven't really gone and explored any of them. That's been something I've been telling myself that I want to do and I just never do it. So here we are again holding myself accountable to actually making that happen. Um, so then again to just wrap up on habits, reading on my lunch break three times, um, reading before bed, um, at least 30 minutes. That's part of my evening routine. Another habit that's not really part of my goal because I don't want to like make that a goal is um, to start waking up earlier. Um, so I want to get out of bed by 7.15. My alarm goes off at 7 and that's just to help, you know, again, holding myself accountable to getting up early. So yeah, that's kind of the breakdown. Good morning, happy Monday. I am on track with my morning habit to wake up and get out of bed by 7.15 and it is 8.40 and I am on my way to work. So I am, <laughs> to be transparent, I did not sleep very well last night, I think because I was up late editing a video and then just other things going on um, and probably just being anxious and excited for this week because I'm gonna be vlogging everything so that's my morning update I'm gonna to go to work and check in later Tuesday. So it is 11.14 today and I thought I would check in on how yesterday was and what I'm up to today. So today I'm working from home um, and I think it's going to be a good opportunity for me to really knock out a lot of um, habits and goals that I'm working on. So yesterday I was completely drained. I was so tired. 
Um, I didn't sleep well combined with um, just stuff at work. I came home and just plopped on the couch, didn't do any reading, didn't work out. Um, I almost hit 8,000 steps though, so that was really a good plus. Um, I only read on my lunch break for maybe like 15 minutes. I just started um, the A Rogue of One's Own, so I'm not even really in that deep. Um, and I didn't get any reading done on Sunday. Um, so yeah, just being real transparent, I think it's important to share when you're not at your highest level because that's life. Like, um, also to be transparent, I'm getting my period this week, so my energy levels are like dipping. Um, and that's something that I didn't mention when I was like kind of planning out my goals this week. Um, you want to also include and honor your energy, like your physical energy and your mental energy when you're setting goals for yourself. So this, I think this video is going to be very helpful for anyone that really wants to honor their energy more because I am somebody that listens to my body and if I don't feel good, I'm not going to do something. Yeah, today I want to go for a walk like when the sun is still out, which is um, a good perk of working from home. I can kind of make my own schedule and be flexible when I do things and go places. Um, so we're going to do that. And yeah, I'm going to get a lot of reading done. <laughs> and so I definitely want to read on my lunch break and read tonight since to make up for yesterday. I just want to get in deep, like get into a good groove with the book right now. I'm just kind of like feeling it out, trying to figure out the storyline and what's going on. Um, I'm not really like in the thick of it. So that's something that I want to do today. That is the update. I'm going to go back to getting some work done and check in later. take you along with me. It is 2.45 and I'm going to the storage garage where I have some of my furniture from my move that has not made it into the place I'm staying. And I've been really wanting to organize my office better because it is a mess. Um, so what I want to do, my agenda is to go get my bookshelf so I can put it in the office. I also want to get um, my coffee table and put it in the living room and replace the one that is currently in there that was just at the house that we're staying at right now um, and it's not ours um, so it's more me <laughs> and whatever else I can find but those are the two things that I want to get during this trip and then kind of take you through reorganizing my office a little bit. Um, I do want to do like more videos on organizing and redoing over my my workspace area because I need to get a new desk as well. Um, so there's just going to be a lot of workspace content in the future as I try and redo my office and make it just better. Um, so yeah, that is what we're doing today. And yeah, let's go get my stuff.
everyone. What a week it has been. Let me just, can we all just take a sip of whatever we're currently drinking in honor of making it through the week? Let me know down below how your week has been, but yeah, it's just been, I can't believe I'm finally wrapping up this vlog. It's felt <laughs> really long. Also because it's felt like a really long week for me. So I have been doing my weekly review and wanted to check in on how this week went with me working towards my goals and habits. So let's do just, I'll go through what my goals and habits were that I set at the beginning of the week and then kind of comment on if I achieved those or not. So um, one of the big goals was to finish reading A Rogue of One's Own so I can confidently say that that did not happen. Um, something I'm learning is that when I, <laughs> my time during the week can really only go towards one thing like really intentionally. So if I wanted to finish an entire book, I would need to put like kind of all of my time and energy into reading that book, like on my lunch break and like when I came home from work and before bed. So this week I was doing a lot of video editing because I wanted to get a video up. So I was reading on my lunch breaks, but I wasn't reading, you know, after work and before bed and all that. And I also was um, getting my period. So my energy was really low and I just, not in the right mindset or have the energy to read. Um, so that's something that I learned about myself. So I think when we set goals and we don't achieve them, we should kind of look at what happened. When we don't achieve our goals, we need to kind of analyze, you know, why didn't we achieve it? Is there something I could, I can learn from this or improve on? So for me, I learned a lot about energy um, and that honoring my, honoring my energy and taking time to rest is more important than trying to reach a reading goal or you know ed editing a video or anything like that so this week i wanted to really honor my energy as much as i could so in retrospect setting a goal to read an entire book that's like over 300 pages um when i commute and have a day job and have other things going in my life and also about to get my period it's kind of a lofty goal and might not be something i want to you know push myself to achieve in the future. So that was a big learning moment. Next goal was to read on my lunch break three times. I believe I did that. <laughs> so two times at work, um, I was able to read on my lunch break and then one time when I was working from home. So yay. My next goal was to edit and upload one YouTube video. So I got my weekend, productive weekend vlog up. Um, move my body 15 minutes or hit 8K steps three times. So. I will say that I went on my walk um, and that was, I, I got my, I hit 9K steps I think that day and also worked out like for over 15 minutes because I went on a walk. The other days this week I did not hit 8,000 steps but I almost hit 8,000 steps. Yeah, so that's kind of where I am <laughs> with that. I don't think I achieved that but you know, it's okay. I think for me the big win was just being able to go out on a walk um, this week so I'm celebrating that and I think that's something that we all should learn to do is celebrate the little wins and little progress as much as we can. Then my last goal was to go on a walk or hike. So yay, I did that. Congrats to me. Um, so habits, I wanted to read on my lunch break three times. I did that. Read before bed 30 minutes. I did not do that. I think I did that like one night, but I wasn't really specific with how much I wanted to do that. Like was that daily? Was that three times? So I think being more specific with that habit helped me um, work towards that. And again, low energy and just kind of wanted to like loaf after work and not really do anything also is why I haven't been reading at night. I, <laughs> I think the biggest win for this week in terms of habits is that I was able to get up before 7.15 on all of the days that I commuted and I filmed it too, so yay! And leave for work by 8.40 a.m. Um, I did that too because I was able to get up early and get myself around, have my morning quiet time, and leave for work by 8.40. So I also wanted to kind of go through a few, like my weekly review, just a few highs and lows for the week to kind of wrap up this video. So a few highs this week was definitely um, getting up by 7.15, getting out of bed and getting ready in the morning. Um, that's a big win for me. I got my YouTube video up, yay. Um, a huge, huge win is that I paid off my credit card. So all of my credit card debt is gone. I don't have any right now. Yay! That was a big 2020 goal for me. And 
I'm so excited that that is something that I achieved. Another big thing was that I reorganized the office as you saw yesterday and so excited. I have my my coffee table in the living room now and replaced that like wooden one that we had. I have my bookshelf in the office and that is making the, the office look a lot more organized and I actually kind of want to work in there now. My next step is to get a new desk. Um, so I'm definitely going to plan um, a video around just like workspace, like new, like getting a new desk and rearranging the work workspace and making it more me and workable and just cozy because I've been struggling with working from home because I don't like where I'm like where my workspace is. So keep an eye out for that video. Let me know if you want to see that. So that will encourage me to kind of get that as make that a priority. So yeah, definitely some lows was getting my period and Friday I just had like super low energy um, and just kind of loafed. I did get a lot of editing, editing done Friday. So that was good. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was definitely, I did not get a lot of reading in this week and that's okay. Something I can move to next week is reading, um, finishing A Rogue of One's Own and getting that done next week when I have a lot more energy and, and I'm not on my period anymore. And yeah, so those are kind of the lows for this week. And I think one thing I will mention um, as we wrap up this whole like goal setting, habit building um, video is that um, at the end of my weekly review, I kind of asked myself, next week I want to what? What do I want to do next week? How do I want to feel next week? What are things that I'm going to work towards next week? So things I put on here after kind of doing my highs and lows was that I want to get more reading in, <laughs> definitely get more reading in, continue waking up between 7 and 7.15 and on commute days. I want to have a no spend week. Um, I'm really motivated now to keep going with my debt pay down and last week I kind of spent some money on eating out that I probably should have saved so um, one of my monthly goals is to have a no spend week so next week is kind of I think the day I'm going to do that because then the week after that is Thanksgiving and I probably might be traveling depending on how the you know the situation is with with the pandemic um, so I don't want to restrict myself from spending money on eating out when I'm gonna be traveling. So next week is the week for no spending. So yeah, in terms of next week, I've already kind of laid out how I want to feel. Um, definitely more energized, calm, and creative. I have six goals laid out, kind of moving a few goals from last week, such as reading um, A Rogue of One's Own, continuing to hit 8,000 steps a day, um, getting two YouTube videos up, which will be exciting. Um, finally choosing a therapist and scheduling my first call and organizing my office to make it more me. And then habits, continuing to read on my lunch break, morning quiet time, um, waking up and getting out of bed at 7.15 and leaving, by, leaving for work by 8.40 a.m. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog um, with the focus on me working on achieving goals and building habits. I, I hope it was motivational, inspirational, and maybe a bit informational for you if you are somebody who is struggling with goal setting, um, consistency with your goals, or building new habits and maintaining those habits. So, yay. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more vlogs and planning and goal setting and stuff like that. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye.